Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. I love you. Sending you a very big virtual hug, a very big hug wherever you are on the earth plane right now. So October is going to be a bumpy month, right? It's going to be, it's going to be an interesting month. Um, there's a lot that's going to play out. But like I said in, the ver in a couple of videos before this, um, we really did detour. And, um, and what could have played out is not going to play out in the intensity that it was going to. But it is still going to be rocky. So here are a couple messages that came in, okay, from my guides this morning. One, begin to and continue to practice opening the door of love over and over again. And what they mean by that is that in every now moment, you have an option and an opportunity and a choice to choose love, compassion, and empathy. And how often are you? So imagining there's a door in front of you and it says the door of love. And you always have an option or an opportunity or a choice to open it and to provide a frequency and vibration of love to yourself and to humanity. Even those that you don't like, that you don't agree with, that create anger, hate, and rage within you. Second thing is, we are moving as a collective and individually into higher states of consciousness. Your body is already holding the higher states. So now it becomes a choice. And they'd said every single day in October, the human is gonna have an opportunity to watch themselves experience and feel lower states of consciousness. And in that moment, they have an opportunity to choose the higher state. Because ascending or, or shifting, evolving into higher states of consciousness is not just a, a uh, I'm going to lay back and just let it happen. We have to start to participate and choose. We have to watch ourselves. Are we doing a knee-jerk reaction when I feel anger, rage, fear? Right. This perpetuating of the consciousness that we're clearing. We're clearing anger. We're clearing rage. We're clearing fear. We're clearing stress. We're clearing all of these things, frustration, irritability. These are consciousnesses in a lower state that are not going to be coming with us in this now as we shift and as we are shifting, right? And so we have to clear them. We clear them by feeling them, but we don't clear them by perpetuating them back out, right? We don't perpetuate them back out because all that's doing is perpetuating that consciousness. We perpetuate back, we, we send back out a higher state, a higher pulse, compassion, love, empathy, unity, neutrality, understanding, breath, presence. So in every now moment, practice or be the observer of, right now I'm feeling a little bit of a lower state of consciousness. I'm going to feel it, but I'm going to react from a higher state of consciousness. I'm going to be from a higher state. So you feel and then you be from the higher state. You got to feel it. You don't ignore it. But as you feel it, just because you feel something doesn't mean you have to knee-jerk reaction, go out and respond to it in that same energy. What we are watching right now in every single now moment this month is the collective clearing huge, huge, very, very dense consciousnesses. Hate, rage, anger, disgust. These are consciousnesses that, guess what, are not in higher states and they're not coming with us. And we have got, you have got to get, we have got to get clear on how we are being as we shift. Because to see all of the thousands of people hoping and praying that the president dies, whether you like him or not, agree with him or not, that consciousness is a very low consciousness. It is not a higher state of consciousness, whether you agree with this man or not. It's not what this is about. It's about moving into higher states of consciousness in the midst of not agreeing with someone. In the midst of feeling hatred for someone, you start to choose the door of love. You don't pound yourself in, in, the, in the ground and say, I don't like him. I hate him. And I'm so happy that he has COVID and now he may die. But that's a lower state of consciousness. You're perpetuating out that same cycle of consciousness that we're here to clear. Right? And so as you are watching this unravel, anything that's going to unravel, and there's a lot that's going to unravel this month. Ask yourself, how 
Am I feeling? Great. Now, how am I being? What am I projecting back out into the world and into the human collective? And it is, is it assisting in shifting the human collective or is it perpetuating that same consciousness that we're actually here to clear? So I just want to preface when you feel the anger and the rage and the, and the frustration and whatever you feel as you watch things, it doesn't mean you don't have opinions and beliefs and truths. It means you hold and feel all of it while you choose to respond and be from a higher state of consciousness. That is how we will quickly, quickly shift an entire human collective. And as you watch millions upon millions get more angry and get more rageful and get more disgusted and whatever they're going to feel, can we hold more love for them? more compassion for them, more empathy instead of playing along and perpetuating it. That's what we're here to do. This is why this entire awakening is occurring right now. We have to go through this and we have to wake up, open our eyes and stop being victims and start becoming the observer and the creator, which means you choose. You choose how you respond. You choose whether you're going to point fingers and create a larger divide or if you're going to hold all of it and walk forward with all of it with an open heart. Am I opening the door of love or am I shutting the door of love? And having compassion for yourself through all of it. Why else is this happening other than to allow us to see and to feel the physical shift in consciousness and to begin to remember that we always have a choice. Always. And that was the biggest message this morning. Remind the humans that they are choosing their beingness. No matter what they feel, they are choosing it. Choose the higher states. Hold compassion and love. We're all doing the best we can. And what you are watching in the collective over and over in every now moment, many different channels, many different stations is a huge amount of anger, a huge amount of rage, a huge amount of disgust, a huge amount of divide. Why? Because it cannot shift with the human collective. It has to dissolve. So we have to see it and feel it. And there's nothing wrong with it. Vibrate out the higher states of consciousness. I love you. Thank you for being here. We've got this. We already got through it. It's already done. We already navigated through this. This is a past now. Like, a, like we reround the movie. And now we're going, now we're pushing play again. And we're like, oh my God, I'm in this stage again. I hate this stage. This is a beautiful stage. It's an uncomfortable stage. It's a crunchy stage. But we do it. We nail it. We get past this. Be in higher states as often as you can. I love you.